Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Now, if you need any proof that tool watches can also be cool watches, look no further than Rolex's Milgauss. Originally created in 1956 as a specialized model for scientists, musicians in the era of the newfangled electric guitar, or industrial workers in new high-tech industries, the Milgauss was designed as an engineer or heavy-duty high magnetic flux environment watch for people who had to work around strong electronic devices that would give off powerful electromagnetic fields because these would play havoc with standard mechanical movements. So the original Milgauss launched that year was unlike anything else in the Rolex lineup. Heavily shielded against magnetism, it had a case inside a case made of soft iron to channel magnetic fields away from the movement. It had a quirky little lightning bolt shaped second hand and to be perfectly honest, it was an oddball, and it stayed that way from 56 till 88. And we didn't hear from the Milgauss again until 2007, when it came back with a bang. And all of a sudden, the Milgauss was cool. For the first time ever, there was a waiting list for the model. And the model you see here, the Milgauss 116400, was the spearhead of that phenomenon. Now, the modern Milgauss is easily the most stylish and best finished example in the model line's history. What you see is a 40 millimeter case, black dial. You can see these white indexes with the orange hand and the orange indexes outboard of the primary hour indexes on the minutes track. Now that's special because that combination with this non-colored clear sapphire crystal is a discontinued reference. So as I like to say, every watch that's discontinued is automatically a limited edition, and that's what you have here. And this special Milgauss, the modern variant, is polished alternately brushed and straight grained, polished, faceted beautifully in the fashion of a modern Rolex luxury watch, no longer the exclusive domain of scientists or hard rockers. The Milgauss is a model to be seen wearing at dinner, at the opera, at the club, at the office. This is a phenomenal Rolex that wears reasonably on wrists of all sizes. It's got a burly case, thick in the oyster fashion with a screw down crown, very durable, very butch, but at the same time, it doesn't have that awkward cyclops eye marring the sapphire that a lot of the dive watches have. And to many, that's a huge advantage. The bezel is slim, which means that although it's 40, it has a large dial to bezel ratio, and it looks bigger on the wrist. Again, it's got that oyster case. So whereas the older Milgauss was generally designed to stay high and dry, this one's waterproof to 100 meters. You're good for the beach, you're good for the pool, no worries. Now the watch also features a bracelet to match. Again, we're talking modern refinement and Rolex delivers. Alternately brushed and polished, very supple on the wrist, it features some uh, clever innovations that have really improved the quality of both the Oyster bracelet and the Oyster clasp in recent years. Now the clasp itself is industry leading. Very solid, feels like it's built out of a solid block of 904L steel. But it also includes the now signature Rolex Easy Link, which you can see here. It's a little link built into the mechanism that allows you to add or subtract up to five millimeters of length, tool free, jeweler free, if, you know, for whatever reason, it's ever hot weather, your wrist swells, you need to adjust due to wrist size changes, you get that convenience, and that's one of the great features of this watch. Beautifully built, very solid in the hand. The Oyster Clasp is one of the highlights of this watch, and of course, with that engineering heritage, Rolex continues to build. So you've got the same anti-magnetic qualities of the original Milgauss. You have that soft iron Faraday cage inside to channel the magnetic flux around the movement. You have that resistance to high electromagnetic densities, which we now find in every home, in every office. What was considered exotic in the 50s is now commonplace in the modern workplace. So the Milkos has really come into its own, not just in terms of style, but in terms of technology. And Rolex has taken it to the next step with the Parachrome Blue Hairspring. That technology debuted on this revived Milgauss reference. It's a Breguet overcoil, beautifully chemically blued. It's a gorgeous thing to look at, and it performs just as well as it looks. Anti-magnetic, shockproof, very resistant to temperature changes. It takes what's already a certified chronometer that is COSC tested over two weeks to ensure accuracy, and it makes this watch even more accurate than COSC standards. Rolex really spared no expense in building a high-tech high durability, anti-magnetic escapement, hairspring, the lever, the, um, the wheel itself, the escapement wheel, those are two other parts of the movement. They're made of what's called anachronous nickel. 
itself anti-magnetic. So you've got layers of defense. The hairspring, the escapement parts, the soft iron cage. Rolex absolutely delivers, and they also deliver style. With that tribute to the original, that little orange seconds hand with the lightning bolt symbol, Rolex was accused of being a little bit postmodern when it released this watch. People, were, people who didn't know history were saying, Oh, why are you putting a funny little thing on a Rolex dial? Why are you playing with lightning bolt shapes and bright colors? And well, the in the no answer is, well, you know, they did it during the 50s, so this is true to form. So this watch reeks of authenticity, both aesthetically and mechanically. It's a phenomenally versatile watch, a great watch for those who prefer a plainer Rolex. They don't like the big burly dive models. They don't want to be seen wearing some sort of nautical implement around the office. They want something that's a little bit more muted, but not a dress watch. So you get that tool watch aesthetic, but with a larger dial, a smaller bezel, a little bit more of a low-key appearance, but with all the technology, reliability, and refinement that you expect of a Rolex luxury watch. It's not a Submariner, but it's instantly recognizable as a Rolex. And like I said, discontinued. This watch is available through WatchYouWant.com with a comprehensive set of accessories, including books, papers, and boxes. Call us about this Rolex Milgauss or any watch you want. We might just have it.